सी आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट्स द ऑडियो बुक पूर्वी टेक्स्ट बुक ऑफ इंग्लिश फॉर ग्रेड सिक्स पेज नंबर वन हंड्रेड फोर्टी वन यूनिट फाइव कल्चर एंड ट्रेडिशन चैप्टर टू द काइट्स लेट एस डू दीज एक्टिविटीज बिफोर वी रीड वन Answer the following questions and share them with your teacher and classmates. A. Have you ever flown a kite or seen someone fly it? Where? When? B. Describe the kite: colors, shape, design of tail, any other detail. C. What did you think when you saw the kite up in the sky? 2. Search the internet for videos on kite festivals. and discuss about them with your teacher and classmates a share the things with your teacher about what the people were doing b would you like to participate in this kind of festival why c what kind of kite would you like to fly 3 consider the picture and complete the sentences share your responses with your teacher the important words are windy kite flying birds sky looking has ribbons there is a picture shown on the right side of this page where a girl is flying a kite which has ribbons along with the kite in the sky are flying a few birds it seems like the wind is blowing really hard as the girl's hair are all over the place a i can see dash dash and dash in the picture b the weather in the picture is dash c the kite is dash high in the sky d the child is dash from below e the tail of the kite dash 4 now think and answer a list two more things that you want to add to the picture b If I were the child I would dash C If I were the kite I would dash Page number 142 Let us read Up in the air See the kites fly like colored birds in the wind whipped sky I wish I were small and light as air i would climb on a kite and sail up there then i would drift upon the paper wings and hear the songs that the wild wind sings what fun it would be to look right down over the park and the rooftops of town the people below would stand and stare and wish they were me hi high in the air daphne lister both sides of this page is painted with beautiful kites of different sizes and colors page number 143 let us discuss one read the poem silently as you read mark the given statements as true or false statements a The child is looking at the kites. True or false? B. The kites look like birds of different colors. True or false? C. It was a rainy day. D. The child wants to be like a kite. E. The child wishes to climb on a kite. F. The kite is made of cloth and plastic. G. The child wants to ride the kite. H. The child knows they would have fun. I The child wants to look at the kite from a rooftop. J The child would like to look at people down below. K The child knows that the people would stare. 2 Complete the following sentences. A The poet says that the kites are like colored birds. See the kites fly or like colored birds in the sky. The kites have been compared to B dash 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 because they dash. B the child wishes to be like air. 
I wish I was small or and as light as air. The child wishes to be as L dash 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 T as dash dash dash. The child wishes this to be able to C dash dash M dash on a kite and fly. Page number 144. The poet uses simile in A and B to compare the kites with colored birds and the quality of being light as air. The poet uses like and as to compare. Do you think that the use of simile in this poem helps us imagine better when we read the poem? Share your thoughts with your teacher and classmates. 3. Find a set of words from the poem that begin with the same consonant sound. Stanza 1. Which consonant sound do both words begin with? Fill in the blank. Stanza 3. Which consonant sound do both words begin with? Fill in the blank. This is called alliteration. For example, big bright blue bag, funny fan, etc. Create four other sets of words using alliteration. 4. In the last stanza, the two words that the poet repeats are dash, comma, dash to tell us that the kite is flying dash, 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 vi, hi. 5. Study each stanza and underline the rhyming words from the end of each line. Also, circle the end words in the stanzas that do not rhyme. Let us think and reflect. 1. Read the given lines from the poem and answer the following questions. What fun it would be to look right down over the park and the rooftops of town. A. Circle the word that does not share the same feeling as fun, joy, excitement, care, happiness. Page number 145 B. Which line tells us that the poet was somewhere above? C. Choose the scene the child witnessed. There are four pictures on this page. In picture 1, a child with an old woman is crossing the zebra line on the road. There's a village in picture number 2. Picture number 3 is that of a highway with traffic moving. There's a built-up house in picture number 4. 2. Answer the following questions. A. How does the poet describe the kites in the first two lines? B. Why does the child say that they have to climb a tree first to get onto the kite? C. What are the songs that the child hears when flying atop the kite? D. Why did the people look up at the child and stare? If you looked up and saw that, what feelings would you have? E. If you were the kite carrying the child high up in the air, what would you tell them? Page number 146 Let us learn. Observe the picture of a kite and read what some of its parts are named. On this page, a kite is drawn with arrows showing the vital parts of a kite. On the top of it is the nose, then the spine which is in the center of the kite, then the cover, the kite line, tail and reel. Now complete the given conversation by filling the blanks with some parts of a kite words just now told. Bina. I love the long yellow T dash 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 at the end of my kite. What color is your kite? Saroj. My kite's C dash 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 is pink. The S dash 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 E is black. Bina. Oh, wonderful. My kite L dash 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 is red. The 
R dash dash L that wraps it is green. I really like it. Saroj, my kite line is red too. The tip of my kite has a blue dash 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 E. Bina, beautiful. Let's go and fly our pretty kite. Page number one hundred forty seven. Two. Let us create a poem using words in a kite. The first line is the subject. Keep this to one word. Use a noun. Kite. The second line is two, describing words for the noun. Pretty, colorful. Line three includes three action words: flying, floating, soaring. Line four uses two words. That describe the action words quickly, happily. Line five is one word that has the same meaning as the subject or synonym. Paper bird. In the middle of this page, two kites have been given. Important information has been provided in the left kite. Kite, pretty, colorful, flying, floating, soaring, quickly, happily. Paper bird. Write such words in the empty spaces on the kite given alongside. This is called a cinquain poem. It is a five-line poem that describes a person, a place, or a thing. Now, create a cinquain poem yourself or anything you like. Three. The poet uses the word fly and drift to tell us about the kite's movement. Page number one hundred forty-eight. A. Circle the words that match with the drift movement. You can choose more than one word: slow, fast, quick, upward, downward, round and round, float. B. Study some other words about the kite's movement and share what type of movement they show. You can consider the words in A section. For the type of movement, glide, dive, soar, swoop, circle. Four, the poet has used expressions like "up in the air," "look right down," "stay up there," "stand and stare." A, read how these expressions are used in the poem. B, in pairs. Make sentences using these expressions. Discuss with your teacher and then write in your notebooks. Let us listen. Listen about the kite festival in India. As you listen, circle the words that are not correct. Then listen again and write the correct words. Refer to page one hundred sixty-three for transcript. A. Kite festival is celebrated during the month of June. B. The International Kite Festival is named Uttarayan in Eastern India. C. Uttarayan is mainly celebrated in Gujarat, but also in Maharashtra and Telangana. D. During the kite festival, we can see kites of different shapes, sizes, and colors. E. In Karnataka, the tourism department organizes the kite festival every year. Page number. One hundred forty-nine. F. The Punjab region celebrates Basant Panchami and Baisakhi by flying kites. G. People of India also enjoy flying kites on Earth Day. Let us speak. Share a kite flying experience with your classmates. If you have not flown a kite yet, share an experience of watching kites fly. Give details: where, when, why, how. Speak in complete sentences. Let us write. One. Imagine yourself as a kite. In pairs, first discuss all the following hints. What shape of kite are you? What colors do you have? What other parts of yourself are you happy about? Where are you? Who do you belong to? What activities do you do? Who are your friends? Do you have any message for humans? Two. Now 
write a paragraph of about 100 words with the title, I am a kite. Let us explore. 1. The mention of kites exists in ancient Indian texts. It can be found in the poetry of the 13th century Marathi saint and poet Namdev. In his poems or gathas, he called a kite a goody. And there's a mention that the kites were made from kagad or paper. 2. Have a look at some of the different types of kites. Choose which one is commonly seen. Page number 150 Given are the different types of kites. Choose which one is commonly seen. On this page, five different types of kites are drawn. The first is parafoil. Second is delta. Third is rokaku. Fourth is diamond-shaped kite. Fifth is box kites. A. Find out the steps to make a kite. B. Follow the steps and create your own kite. Get it to school to show your teacher and classmates. C. Write a message on the kite. For example, Happy Independence Day. Purvi, you were just listening to this audiobook. Textbook of English for Grade 6. Narration, Babla Kocher and Richa Sayal. Technical Coordination, Bati Langlingdo. Sound Recordist, Manju Kumari. Assistance in Production, Soumya Malik. Directed and produced by Vimalesh Chaudhary. This audiobook is presented to you by CIET NCERT, New Delhi, India.